Blast off into the school year with the SA Live Back to School Special in Primetime. We're catching up with these kids all over the city, including the song engineers at NEISD. Can I be in Elle's classroom? Am I too old? I'm too old. Kids say the darndest things, don't they? The SAISD kindergartners are learning what's what and sharing their hopes and dreams for the new year during their first week of elementary school. And meet the teachers. They're ready for the school year, too. Just see how much planning goes into the seeds of knowledge that they share with your kids. And let's see if we can sneak into the teacher's lounge, too. You're watching SA Live. In Sunshine Cottage for deaf children. And I tell you what, these have been here all day long. We got the band, the cheerleaders, the drill team, the dance team, the field dance team, all the peers out here, football, cross country, everybody. Boy, the excitement. They have spirit. Yes, yes they, they do. Yes, they yes, do. Yes, they do. <laughs> You've been and working all night. I, I have, I really have. Now, we actually asked you earlier, we want to see your school spirit. We wanted you to go on to SA on Facebook and share out your pictures. Yep. And we want you, of course, to post those as uh, Facebook as well as Twitter at SA Live. Now, Ben David is going to be cooking up something for us tonight as they get ready for that. And, of course, earlier tonight, they had the Meet the Broncos event way at the end of this quarter-mile hallway down there. And that's what they introduced to everybody. And now a lot of those parents are here. And, boy, what a lot of energy tonight. Yes, this is an event every year to get the students and teachers pumped up for the new school year. Parents are there, too, showing their support and pride for their young Brandeis Broncos. The Brandeis campus in San Antonio's northwest side in the Northside Independent School District. They start school on a Monday along with the other NISD schools. Yep, and we are new Brandeis here, but somebody that knows just about everything there is to know is teacher John Paul, who is the voice of Brandeis, and everyone was telling us that we have to teach you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, it's what's not to love about Brandeis. I mean, well, I've been here since we opened 12 years ago, and it's, it's impossible to manufacture <laughs> this kind of spirit. And you have an entire family of Broncos, right? Yes, my son Noah is a freshman, and my daughter, Kennedy, is a senior. Okay. Everybody's high school is the best, is fantastic. What makes Brandeis so different and special? Well, we have 180 electives. We have 80 clubs and organizations, but more importantly... Look, little feedback. <laughs> but more importantly, uh, we don't have to manufacture anything here. If you don't get to a pep rally 15 minutes before it starts, you can't get in the gym. Um, people have to watch it on the, in the cafeteria. Um, it's just... We have the best students in the world. We have a fantastic staff, and we don't have to manufacture school spirit. Oh, no, you don't. No. We've been noticing that school spirit, and, of course, just the line of parents outside that door trying to get in here, and some of them did, and they've got those lucky seats. But there, what new programs are at Brandeis? Um, we have a, a field dance program that is new and exclusive to Brandeis where they're going to um, – our dance program is going to integrate um, uh, modern dance moves into our regular um, halftime – band performance this year, which is going to be fantastic. And this pep rally is basically a warm-up because this goes on every Friday morning, right? Every Friday or Thursday if we play on Thursday night. It's, it's amazing. It is amazing yeah. to be in here. I mean, still got chills mm -hmm. with all the spirit in this place mm -hmm. right now. And it the is. voice of Brandeis, of course, right? Yeah, what's that like? <laughs> um, to be honest with you, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, <laughs> we have the best student body. We have incredible administrators. We have the best fine arts program. We have the best band on the planet. Um, when you show up and you have this kind of talent around you, what's not to love? Right. You're yeah. right about that. 
Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for teacher John Paul, and stick around because we've got something a little special coming up a little bit later on, and that's uh, going to be oh, yeah. in a couple of minutes. Oh, yes, and right now, I think Jen and David, I think they're ready with their surprise. What or who did you bring, well, you guys? Fiona is the Spurs Coyote. Yeah, that's second. Actually, the second thing is a dance off, okay, right? Okay, let's do it. He's getting pumped up. We're gonna get our four dancers. Where's our four dancers we at? Need to dance off. Come on now. There we go. It's crazy in here, y'all. Right. It's crazy. There we go. Okay, so All right, Coyote, come on over here. Okay, so we have our contestants, because we're about to do it. Hello, welcome. I'm such a fan. I love you. Oh, my right, gosh. So Jen's okay. going to come down okay. here. Talk to us. Who are you? Hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Chloe, and I'm a junior, and I'm on the drill team. Okay. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm a junior as well, and I'm on the varsity dance team. Hi, I'm Madison. I'm a senior. I'm on the cheer team. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a sophomore, and I'm field dance captain. Are you guys ready? Yes. You guys ready to do this? Yes. Okay, I think we have... Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, the And, of course, the Coyote. <laughs> All right, Coyote, now you're ready. Now, the first thing first, you're going to show us a dance move. And then, yes, you. They're gonna get, you're going to get some drums over here. You're going to get a beat. There you go. And then we're going to come up with our first contestant to see if they can outdance you. All right. All right, start them up. Go for it. Come on, stand in line right here for us. Thank you so much to the drum line right here. Give them a big round of yes, applause, y'all. you guys are awesome. Okay. All right, All right y'all, real quick. I'm going to go down the line. Now, this is the thing. I want you guys to tell me who is your favorite dancer tonight. We're going to start right here. What y'all think? Bring it. Come on. All right. Stop. Right here. How about right here? <laughs> All right. And right here. Oh. All right, y'all. Stay right there, Coyote. All right. Thank y'all so much for participating. Our winner right here, Emma. Woo! You're going to kill it. Y'all, stay right here. Stay right here with us. Congratulations to everybody. Mike and Fiona, come on back over here. Congratulations! All right, come on back over. They were all fantastic. Come on over here, y'all, and then we'll switch out over here. Coyote, come on over here with us. Great job, everyone. That's a lot of dancing. That was a lot of dancing. One more big round of applause yes. for all Good of them. Job,
And Emma, you actually, you just won a prize pack, a coyote prize pack. How do you feel? Awesome. <laughs> that was so much fun. Good job, Perfect. everybody. Great job, great. everyone. Thank Big you. round of applause. All right, coyote should keep dancing. Yeah, coyote, let's keep get going. it up. Keep, keep dancing. Going. Keep, keep dancing. Let's hear tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah go keep for going yeah, for it. Go. Go. <laughs> oh, wait. Mike, Mike can do that move. Yeah. <laughs> let's get, yeah. Can we get another little drum roll here? Can we get some uh, another cadence? <laughs> We'll get that going. <laughs> boom, chicka bop, chicka boom, chicka bop. Okay, Coyote's <laughs> going after them, I think. Yes, that was He'll awesome. He'll be somewhere. And we also have Benny the Bronco here. He's, yes. He was waiting oh, on the oh, sidelines. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey. Benny, come on, Benny. Okay. There you go. Budget. We rounded up three members of the Brandeis Student Council to test out some of the hottest items you can buy on a dime this season. And up next, Jen catches up with these little guys and gals at SAISD's Bottom Academy during their very first week of kindergarten. Don't go anywhere. The pep rally continues here on KSAT 12 in just a couple of minutes.
special in prime time here at Lewis Brandeis High School, home of the Broncos. And let me tell you, the school spirit here is unbelievable in this gym. Oh, yeah, we're bringing out our inner high school selves tonight. Yes, Doesn't yes. this bring back memories oh, of school fantastic. spirit? Yes, and remembering those fun times. What did you do in high school? Played football uh -huh. after high school, mm -hmm. and I was in theater. Was of the course. Big highlights. So. He had a, <laughs> I won't do my play lines, even thank, though I can remember thank them. You. So. How thank about you. Thank you for that. Um, I was voted most school-spirited. Shocking. No kidding. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Well, good memories, but how about going way back to that first day of kindergarten? I remember kindergarten, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, and those moments can be exciting and maybe even a little scary, even a little bit funny. We sent our Jen Tobias Strusky to show us how the kindergartner students are doing over at San Antonio's James Bonham Academy. I think it was more fun than fear. Check it out. School is in session. We are here at the Bonham Academy, SAISD's Bonham Academy, and we're going to check out how the kindergarten students are going. This is Bethel. Say hi, Bethel, or give them a roar. 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 <laughs> we're going to go surprise them and see how kinder's going. Let's go. Today, can we join you? Are you guys enjoying school so far? Yes. Ooh, Play-Doh. Yes. Okay, so I have a question. If you could have a super power, superhero power, what would it be? Freeze. Ooh, you would freeze something? Is it because it's so hot here? Is that why? Uh-oh, okay, okay, I'm just kicking now. I'm just kicking, I'm just kicking. Okay, that's fine. Okay, if you could have any class pet, what would you, what would you have as a class pet? Anything, anything. A lion? No, no, that's too scary, right? Megalodon. You're scaring me. How would that fit in here? So if you could have a superhero power. I, I want to be a T-Rex that it has fire. A T-Rex with fire, oh my goodness. Oh, your hand's still on fire. <laughs> All right, anything else you guys want to tell me? My mom will be single. <laughs> I want to be a doctor. A doctor, do you know what kind of doctor? No, a teacher. Oh, a teacher, okay, how about both? A doctor teacher? <laughs> okay. Any kind of pet, what would you have in the classroom? Cheetah. <gasps> a cheetah? What about you? That's kind of scary. A snake? Oh my goodness, what about you? A oh, a unicorn? Now that would be cute and magical. One of the funny stories yesterday at lunch, one of the kids looked really tired. He's walking in with his lunchbox and he goes, Does this mean it's almost time to go home? So <laughs> it's just funny to think about kids and like what their sense of the day is. Uh, I really enjoyed that. One of the things about Bonham is it's the flagship dual language school in the district, but we also have a celebration of fine arts and environmental science. But what's one thing I should learn if I come to your classroom? <laughs> well, I don't have a classroom. I'm, I'm flying everywhere. Oh, okay. I forgot. It, to find oh, that I forgot. And you have super speed too, right? I totally forgot. Super speed paleontologist flying everywhere. I can't keep up with you. I can't. <laughs> Oh, they're adorable. So adorable. They are, and that school's over 100 years old, uh, the Bonham Academy. So I have to ask you guys now, because I asked yeah, them, I know. Oh, wait, what would well, your superhero power be? Um, well, wait, you already have one. What? You hardly sleep. You never sleep. <laughs> right? What's your superpower? <laughs> I'll let you know in GMSA tomorrow morning. So <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Um, it would be to eat anything I want and not gain weight. OK. All right. I like that. Coming one. up, <laughs> our three girl. student council members are just about ready to reveal their fall fashion looks on a budget. Keep it here on SA Live's Back to School Primetime Special.
Well, stepping out in style doesn't have to cost parents a whole lot when their kids go back to school. And you know where that back to school clothing budget will go far? Right here at Goodwill. And Penny Benavides joins me. And that's the great thing about Goodwill is that you can find a lot of the basics here, right? Right. Goodwill is a, a wonderful place to stretch that back to school dollar. You never know what you're going to find, but you're going to find something is what I like always like to say. And um, if you're wanting to explore with fashion, from basics to jeans to something that's vintage, you can find it right here. Okay, so what better way to find out what the kids are into, what's trendy than the kids themselves? So, Perfect. we've got three volunteers from Brandeis High School. Okay, Megan, how old are you and what grade are you in? I'm 17 and I'm gonna be a senior. Gonna be a senior, all right, back to school style. What's your style? Um, I usually do wear like dresses and I'll put jackets over them and pair it with like Converse and a lot of jewelry. All right, really trendy. So <laughs> you go find a trendy look. Okay. Okay, Sophia, so what grade are you in? I'm a senior. You're a senior. Okay, tell me about your back to school style. Usually I like to go for the mom jean type of look with an oversized shirt that's knotted. Mm -hmm. That's about what I wear on a daily basis. All right, so a little bit vintage. Yeah, a little okay. bit. All right, let's see what we can find for you. Awesome. Okay, Brandon, how old are you and what grade are you in? I'm 15 and I'm going to be a sophomore. All right, tell me about your back to school style. Um, so I really kind of just like to wear um, kind of like basic stuff. So I like to wear t-shirts and jeans. I like to wear Crocs a lot. Like I'm wearing Crocs right now. Right now, Crocs yeah. with socks. With yes. socks, like, yeah. So that's how comfy you like to be. Yes, I really like to be comfy. So you're looking for something casual and comfortable. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we can find you. Okay. Okay, I bet they had a just fantastic time picking out clothes. Oh, they did, and incredible deals. I mean, that that clothing budget for the school year can go really far there at Goodwill, all yeah, right? You're not going to believe the prices when we talk about Oh, those. yes, and here they are here with us tonight with the big reveal on their fall outfits. We have Brandon, Megan, and Sophia here to tell us why they chose what they chose. So, Brandon, you were going for comfort. I mean, jeans and T-shirt, yeah. what's more comfortable, right? Uh, exactly. Um, this is actually something that I would wear to school, obviously, um, and I wanted to go for comfort and practicality so um, I picked out uh, some uh, beautiful shorts these aren't shorts beautiful pants <laughs> and a beautiful graphic tee because um who doesn't like to be comfortable at school because you're gonna be in that for about eight hours yeah more, right? eight hours of the day so um, I actually also am and wearing some there. Crocs uh, Crocs are so comfortable and you know what's even more comfortable Crocs with socks and I've actually heard that you actually like wearing Crocs with socks which leads me to my next question yes I do yes, would you wear does. Crocs and socks and shorts yes I did good man <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enough said. All right. Okay, next up we have Megan. Tell us about your look. Your goal was to find something trendy, yes. right? Yes. I was just looking for something, you know, cute, and I saw this, and I like that it had the little stripes here. And, you know, my dress was $4. My jacket was 7 wow. So $11 affordable. for that outfit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes, yes. And last but not least, Sophia, who is also a senior. Hi. Okay, tell us why you picked your outfit, because your goal was to find something vintage. Yes, uh, a big, I guess, trend, as well as Megan's outfit, is mom jeans and an oversized shirt with a knot on it. And that's kind of what I was going for. And I added the scrunchies as like an 80s vibe. And so as my Vans, my checkered Vans, I wear them all the time. Um, they're probably my favorite, so yeah, that's why I chose this. And we were talking about love the T-shirt because that's when MTV used to actually play music videos way back when. Way so. back when. She says she remembers when that when that happened. I used to watch old MTV music videos on TV and YouTube, so probably on <laughs> you know rerun channel or something like that. <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, you guys. Thank All you. right. Well, still ahead on SA Live's Back to School Special. David and Jen are hatching another scheme for a fun game here at Brandeis High School. And a place for everything and everything in its place. We're getting organized with the container store up next. Stay with us. Speaking of hatching a plan, we've got the Spurs Coyote over there. And what does he hatch? It looks like t-shirts. Spurs t-shirts for this very spirited crowd. SA Live back to school special in prime time continues after we pay the bills.
problems getting your boys to do their homework? Uh, one of them, yes. The other one, no. And summer reading, that was a whole different issue. All right. Well, one thing that makes it hard for kids to get work done is a messy workspace, which I know you are very good about keeping workspaces clean. Everybody likes my desk in the newsroom there. Sorry. Argent Tobias Drusky met with the organizing experts at the Container Store to teach kids, families, and teachers how the right workspace can lead to an A during the school year. Yes, Fiona and Mike, it's very important to stay organized as the school year is underway, and I could definitely use some help as a mom of two, and Anthony with the Container Store is here to help me. You have a homework station for us, a yes. family command center, and something for the teachers as well today. So exactly. We're starting here. Tell me what so we have. here's our, our homework desk. This is an ideal solution with everything that you would need to stay organized and on target throughout the year. A couple of helpful tips. Try and keep your work surface clear and open. It's much more convenient to getting the homework done if you have room and space to do it. I love the great pop-in post-it note soccer ball. container, soccer ball. Um, one fun thing is having a calendar and fun specific <laughs> sticky notes. If you have a special event coming up, dinner with, with friends, sporting event, and kids love to, to do this as well. You'll help help yeah, get, get them started, being work. organized. Mm -hmm. Yes. Put your stickers on your uh, gymnastics and, and practice days and all that good your stuff. Your Friday is pizza day. There put the go. little sticker on there. Put them back on the, the, the wall. Now, if you don't have a whole wall mm -hmm. for a homework station, <gasps> Look at that. the Container Store shows us wow. great three-tier rolling cart. You can have the, this filed away in an entryway closet. Mm -hmm. Pull it out, and it's a portable home workstation. So when no it's done, push it back. That. No excuses. Kids, yep. no excuses. It's going to stay organized <laughs> and that homework's getting done. And it gets put away. And back away. Back exactly. So when I get home for the day, what we call it, what, the family drop zone, but you have a good way or to stay organized. Family command yes. center. So th this can be the, the, the heart of the, the home. Everything has a place for shoes, lunch bags, backpacks, coats, water bottles. And don't forget to add a calendar because even though you, you may have one in other areas of the, the home. Since this is one of the, the first and last things that everyone sees in the, the home, they'll know any important events that are going on for the, that day. Perfect. Now, if you need a more streamlined solution for your family command center, we have a great mesh three section. With magnets, yeah, you can personalize it with, with pictures. Or we have the, the great stackable basket solution at the container store where everyone can have their own color, no hunting in the, the morning. So hooks, calendar, and no excuses if you don't have the space, you have other options, right, to stay organized. Exactly. And now, we don't want to forget about teacher. So only have things that you're going to actually use in the course of the day mm -hmm. if they're things that aren't going to be used. File them away in bins and boxes, mm -hmm. and then if you have personal items like this fun apple. That looks like a good spot for the treat there. jar or something, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> don't forget to, to organize the drawers with handy little dividers. And if you don't have something specific for the desk drawer, maybe you have an older, unused utensil drawer. Oh, something like that. that would work well to organize. And teacher will have a wonderful center to stay organized and prepared to teach throughout the, the year. Looks beautiful, organized, happy, ready for the new school year. Next on SA Live's Back to School Primetime Special. Classrooms, boy, they can take a beating with dozens of kids moving in and out every day for an entire school year. I find out how teachers prepare for the onslaught and what secrets lie behind the door of the teacher's lounge. That's coming up right after the break, so stay with us.
So the first day of class is less than a week away here at Brandeis, but teachers, well, they've actually been here for about the past month. What have they been up to and where is that teacher's lounge? All right, this is the last thing I expected to see, you know, two weeks before school with all the teachers sitting here doing classwork. What is this, kind of warming things up for the kids? Uh, it's called Engagement Academy, um, so it's just an opportunity for teachers to come in and pick up some new ideas and some new techniques before school starts. We do it in August because you're ready, you're kind of getting in that mode. What's the best thing to look for as a teacher to going back to school? Man, August is just, I say it's the best time of the year. It really, really is because there's just an energy and excitement. Everyone's just thrilled about getting new students new ideas rolling. Um, it's a really wonderful profession because I'm around wonderful people all the time. The best part about getting ready for school? Uh, it's just a new year. It's exciting. Anything goes. You're starting fresh. You're taking your learning from last year and you're enhancing it. You're going to get this whole new group of bright, eager students. And so everybody's always in a great mood. Everything's new and shiny. <laughs> okay. How long does it take for the shine to wear off for the new school year? <laughs> uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> What actually is in the teacher's lounge? Um, we, the kids don't get to see it. <laughs> it's, all, it's a secret, I'm not allowed to share that. Uh, I have to turn in my badge, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's not a public knowledge. So in every school, there is the teacher's lounge. And you're telling me that teacher workroom, you're, you're, work you're passing that off as a workroom? The workroom, yep, that's what we call it. Because there's really no lounging and teaching, ever. That's what they tell the, the students. Um, Oh, jeez. Okay, do you have, like, reserved spa time in here? Oh, my. You. This is. This is beyond what you ever imagined as a kid in the teacher's. Wow. And the. Look at the size of that big screen in there. Holy smokes. That is amazing. I wish I had a home theater look like that. And the and that's mas the massage table in there? Have to take care of our <laughs> <laughs> yeah, teacher workroom. <laughs> and thank you to all the Brandeis teachers for letting me in the teacher's lounge. Finally discovering after all these years what is in the teacher's lounge. Well, Mike, hmm. Mike what, what was in there? Mm -hmm. They swore me to secrecy, but mm -hmm. you would never believe it. I, everything you can imagine and then some. Yeah, wait do you see the teacher's lounge. Oh, wait, you can't see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, <laughs> students. Yeah. Oops. Well, well, I mean, okay. don't, you guys, I mean, I've been, I've been hanging out there all night, though. In the teacher's lounge? Yeah, I've been Pretty in cool. They let me in. Yeah, well, really? How'd yeah, you okay. get in? Yeah. I just asked. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> all right, coming up next on the SA Live Back to School Prime Show. Blast off with these future engineers in the rocket program at Kruger School for Applied Technologies when SA Live's Back to School Special in Prime Time continues right here on KSAT. <laughs>
rockets. Astronauts, space. Prior to the first moon landing, space exploration was merely science fiction. That's one small step for man. But on July 16, 1969, it became very real. One giant leap for mankind. Now, STEM programs, that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics that teach students how to launch real rockets, are available in school districts across the nation. like the Kruger School of Applied Technologies located at Kruger Middle School on the northeast side of San Antonio. NEISD Teacher of the Year recipient Tracy Thomas guides the students in this program. I actually have a biology degree, but I grew up across the street from NASA. I grew up in Clear Lake, and so when the rocketry job came available and we turned it into an engineering course. It was um, a dream come true for me. Thomas has seen many children go through the program in her 15 years teaching, including her own. I put both my boys through the program. It made them better students. It made them better at their presentation skills. Both my boys can get up and you know speak in front of a room, and um, a lot of times that's intimidating. But through this program, they're getting up in algebra, they're getting up in social studies, they're getting up in every class, and they're getting to do real-world applications and so that's going to let them get ahead of the game when they come to get jobs. The program is creating more than just the next era of NASA employees. Aside from learning how to use rocket launching simulators and how to design a bigger, faster rocket, the students learn patience team building, and how to grow friendships. My biggest worry when I was coming here was that I wasn't going to make friends. And now I've made so many friends and I've made so many good memories. Lots of people are scared to leave their home schools and come to a magnet program, but you're just going to make such cool friends. The hands-on experience they get, the teachers are phenomenal, the administrators are great, the things that he's been able to do and learn and the experiences he's had have just been amazing we're so thankful. And rockets may sound like a boy thing, but these young ladies have a message for other girls who want to also join the program. Go for it. We're paving the way for the future generations of girls. It is a little bit hard going into a mostly male dominated field and even in education, but still it's so much fun and you really shouldn't be worried about what other people think or what other people are going to say about you because you're a girl. Go for it. There's nothing holding you back really. Just other people's opinions. You don't have to listen to them, just listen to yourself. STEM programs like KSAT give children the tools they need to be successful in an ever-changing, ever-evolving world full of technology. All of our classes are taught at a pre-AP level, and so they get very high-level instruction. They do lots of presentations, lots of times where they're working in groups, integrated projects every nine weeks, field trips. All of those are things that kind of help make the kid a 360. According to human resources consulting firm Willis Towers Watson, more than 60% of children today will work in a tech career that doesn't even even exist yet. The last decade brought us smartphones, smartphone apps, nanotechnology, microprocessors, and cybersecurity, among much more. So what will the next decade bring? Whatever it is, the children at the Kruger School for Applied Technologies are ready. We're more than just rocket scientists. For SA Live, I'm David Elder. All right, so that's wow. a lot of fun happening over there at yes, KSAT. The program's it. called KSAT, so why not love it, yeah, right? Yeah, KSAT. I got a you. really fun game to play, though, right now, Okay, Jen. It's, it's called Hungry, game. Hungry Hippos. Are y'all ready to watch another Woo. game? Yes. All right. All right, Jen, who do we got playing with All us? All right, tell us again who uh, our first contestant is. Uh, John Paul, and uh, when Dr. Berger says jump, I say how high. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, who's over here? Uh, Jordan Hayes. I'm the cheer coach here at Brandeis. Cheer coach. All right, and right over here. Jennifer schultz Math Department Coordinator. Oh, I love your name, by the way. And <laughs> As Stephanie Garcia, Pep Squad Director. Pep Squad Director. Are, are you guys ready? Are you ready? For All right, this? get down All in right. positions. Here we go. All right, we're going to be throwing a ball down, yes, and yes. they have to get it. The person who gets okay. the most balls is going to win a package. Okay. Help me throw them out okay. here, one right. at a time. Here we go. Okay. In three, two, one, go! Come on, go, 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 go. go. What are you? Go for it! Go for it! <laughs> It's getting messy. Uh, uh, it's getting messy. I don't think that uh, anybody. Oh, she has two. Okay, she oh, has she's two. two. She's looking good. Okay. All right, here we go. We're getting the balls back. Throw another one, Jen. Uh, okay. Throw another one, yes. Jen. Right. 
She slows it up. She slows it up. You went down. The goal is to catch them, you guys, not to lose them. Okay. Here oh we go. my goodness. Here we go. You got it. You got it. You got Who's it. Who's the hungriest hippo? Let's okay. do this. Come on. Okay. Keep going. Keep cheering for them. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Keep going. Come okay. on. Okay. We're not stopping. Come on. We're not stopping. I think we have a winner. Oh, we got a winner going over right there. Oh, she stole him. She stole him. You can steal. You can steal. Oh, my gosh. Here, put the balls back in here. Put the balls back in here. Okay. Okay. Come on. I can't. Oh, look, look at all the moves she has. Okay. Oh, she's, she's got a good technique. She's tucking them. She's <laughs> Is that fair? I told her. I Is like, that against the rules? All right. Alright, oh we're going, oh don't hit her in the face y'all, this is crazy. Okay, hold on, we're going back in. Okay. Hold on, we're getting Wait, more. Wait, you lost your hoop. We're getting you more. lost your hoop. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, hold on. I think, are, are we done? Are we hold happy? on, let's get it. Okay. Okay, we're done, we're done. That's it. That's it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Last way I have been. I think, I think you. <laughs> I think we've lost okay. control of the game. Okay. We're Let's, done. All right. All one, right. Let's one, count them. One, two, em. three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. One, two, three, four, five. You got three. All oh, those are mine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven's our winner. Seven's our winner. Stand on up. <laughs> If we had the kids here play, it was going to be difficult, but we were proved wrong. The teachers were just as bad. But you that was all right. get a gift card. There we go. Everybody gets a gift you all card get a for gift participating. Card. Thank you so you much for coming out. And congratulations. Winners. Here you go. Good you job. are a tough competitor. Yes. For here sure. You go. Good job. My goodness. All right, y'all. Well, we still have a lot of show yes. to go here still. We have a lot so of entertaining more. stuff. I'm, I'm a little drained here. <laughs> well, that was fun, but there's more fun. coming up. Lots more. There we go. All right, don't go anywhere because we still have really much more pep rally fun. <laughs> we might even have a musical performance. Stay with us.
Oh my gosh, we have had so much fun here tonight. Oh yes, and you know what? All that fun, it doesn't have to end. Why don't you join us for a party every weekday? Yes, the party is at Historic Market Square every Monday through Friday at one o'clock. We have animals, food, music, crafts, cocktails, celebrities, and a whole lot more. Watch SA Live weekdays at 1 p.m. right here on KSAT 12. You know, tonight's show is all about school spirit, and we ask you a social question. Show us your school spirit, <laughs> and boy, there's some spirit on that <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, those first day oh, pictures are goodness. always fantastic. Oh, look at how cute that is. JJ's first day of first, first grade, grade. Oh, on his sixth Crystal. birthday. Oh. Jonathan Allen and is a senior at James Madison High School. All right, Jordan Allen, Jordan. pardon me. <laughs> Good luck, senior year. Yes. There you go. Go Mavs. Mm -hmm. yep. Hey, big, big shout out yes. to everybody here at Brandeis High School. Yes. Of yes. course, we are wrapping up our SA Live Back to School oh, special in yeah. prime time. has Woo. been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All, the, all the cheerleaders and dance squads and everything like that would perform for the parents and for everybody else here. It was fantastic. Uh, the coyote the, was great, too. Yeah, the coyote was <laughs> fantastic. Well. And a big shout-out to KSAT, which good thing that their program is actually named KSAT, right? It's the Kruger School exactly. of Applied Technologies, which is also yes. KSAT. And, and a big thank you to our sponsor, Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. We are going to go ahead and let the Broncos mm -hmm. band play us out and take us home. Good night, everybody.